Next thing to do is to make the door. Uh, before knocking off yesterday, I did add uh, ends to the bottom of the case here and pieces on the inside here. And I'll put blocks of wood or maybe even rubber to act as feet. I guess to keep it, you know, level and steady on the table. I also added a handle here that I just cut a piece of stainless steel tubing that I had. I think it was a shower curtain, what's left over of a shower curtain from a job. And I just cut it about eight inches long and I used pieces of metal on the end here. It's the same metal that I used for the case. and just welded it on with a few spots. <laughs> Not the prettiest looking thing, but it does work. And if you'll notice, I offset the handle towards the front. That's to make up for the extra weight and uh, length of the door. So when I lift it up, it'll be balanced. So what I'm doing today is I'm making the door for the front and I'm gonna attach to that. And to get started on that, I took what was left over that piece of sheet metal that I had. And then I used the bricks themselves as a marking guide to mark out the front panel of the door. And then I just cut it out with the grinder. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark out the pieces that go around the perimeter of the door. And then I'm gonna get all that welded up. Okay, I've got my parts cut out. Um, four pieces for the sides of the door. It's just going to be like a box with no top. And um, I'm getting ready to clean up the pieces, grind the uh, paint off, and get rid of these razor sharp uh, little slivers here that can really give you a good gash if you're not careful. Alrighty, I've got the door uh, fully tacked together, and tacked is as far as it's going to go. Just cleaning out the um, batter inside here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean it up a little bit with the grinder, and then I'm going to fit it in place for the hinges on the case. So I'm just holding this so that the barrel of the hinge lines up pretty much dead on with the edge of this door and I'm just going to tack it in place for now. Well, once again, it's not pretty, but it is effective all the counts. In my world, anyway, for this stuff like this, this is not decorative. I'm not doing this to show off my welding skills. <laughs> That's for sure. I just wanted to stay together. Just brush it off. And when you do brush it off, it looks pretty good. What I basically did here was plug wells. I did three on that one and two on that one because I two will be enough. And this hinge has gotten a little bit tight. So what I'm going to do now is weld that onto the case as well. If I can get it to Okay, to get it to stay there, I've added this piece of sheet metal as a shim and also a holder to hold it up there nicely. And you need to leave clearance between the door and the face of this, otherwise it may bind. So you're better off with a little bit of space there. I'm just going to center that on the opening until it looks reasonable. And I've already uh, ground off the paint on the back here, so all I need to do is weld it off. I'm pretty sure that's the bulk of the welding done. Clean this up a little bit and
and try it out. Of course, it falls into the hole right now. See? See how beautifully that works? Bricks in here, bricks in there. Close it over, and then there'll be some kind of latch there. Probably just something that swings down to catch what's on the side here. Okay, it's later the same day that I, you know, mounted the door. I put in a few minutes extra out there to add this kind of lock, I guess you could say. And it also acts as a handle. It's just a strip of metal that I bent and welded on. I've also put the bricks inside the door and that was a good fit. And then I've put the ones in here on the floor of the uh, kiln, I guess you could say. And what I'm getting ready to do now is trench out these uh, bricks that go on the side for the element. I know that these slots that the element goes into don't have to be perfect. So I just got to be able to recess the wire, the element itself, and staples that I'll make from the wire will uh, do the actual folding. All right, I've got the back two done, and now I've got the trickier one to do. And this one has a curve. Basically what I'm just gonna do is draw the two radiuses right on here, and then I'm just gonna chip it out by hand using a quarter inch chisel. Okay, that's the last one that I need the groove. And this is the one where the leads go out through the side of the thing. So I'm just gonna drill a hole through each one for the wire to go through. I'm gonna be drilling holes through the side. I'm just marking here where these holes are in the brick and and then of course I'll mark how far back they are. Like these holes are gonna be oversized anyway, so they only have to be close. What I need to do now is I need to stretch out this coil to around about 65 inches long. Right now it is 15. So I figure the easiest or probably the best way to do this, because I have no idea really, I've never done this before, is I've clamped the lead wire in the vise here and I'm just gonna pull back from the other end here until I hit 65. Maybe I'll leave the tape there for now and just concentrate on the stretching. What I need to have happen now is for that to let go and come and smack me right in the face. I don't know how far that is, but man, it looks right. You know, it looks uh, uh, even. Pull, pull, but don't fucking come out. Isn't this fun? I don't want to go too far. That's the thing I want to avoid. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that's it now. Okay, I'm gonna start with the uh, round part, I guess you could say. So I'm try to make that even there. And then put it in here. And I think what I need to do now, before I do anything else, is make some staples to hold this in. To make the staples, I'm just cutting pieces of the Element wire, you have to use that. If you use just a regular steel wire, it will melt, probably. Now is the time that I need to get it into here. Okay, 
yeah, just push these wires back out like so. Push this in the rest of the way. And then push them out through the hole. Okay, you probably thought we were done, but you know what? I gotta test this out. I've got a temporary uh, cord hooked up and I'm gonna plug it in. My fingers are crossed. And I hear humming. And I feel heat. And I see smoke. So that's probably a good thing. It's definitely getting hot. Ice cream. Give me ice cream with whipped cream. Ice cream.